They are friendly, loyal, and most of all, we call them our best friend. And I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about. They are the ones who taught us what unconditional love means. And since the beginning of their domestication, dogs have been a part of the human world. Many of these tail waggers devote themselves to protecting us from what they perceive as dangerous. As a result, they may act hostile towards strangers, and in some cases, attack. There are some breeds that have a higher tendency of exhibiting aggressive behavior, especially if they were not trained and loved well. Let me make this clear, dogs weren't born naturally dangerous. Just like with us humans, usually it has something to do with how we take care of them. Personally, I believe that any breed of dog can show aggression and act in an unpredictable manner if raised incorrectly by irresponsible owners. And that is the reason why we need to be aware of the dangers and responsibilities of having dogs. Disclaimer, I did not create this list to deter you from owning one of these dogs. Rather, it is to help educate dog owners and people about the potential dangers of not training them properly. Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 most dangerous dogs in the world. To enjoy more of these videos, subscribe to our channel to be a part of the Money Gang, and click the notification bell to get a front row seat. Let us start with the Doberman Pinscher. Considered as brave, vigilant, and devoted, the Doberman Pinscher is a fearless dog from the working group. Dobermans tower over other dogs at 28 inches tall and can weigh up to 100 pounds. Without a doubt, these dogs are powerful creatures. They were actually bred to be outstanding aid for the police force and fierce guardians of family homes. And because they have so much strength, they need to be trained as early as possible. The biggest concern with raising a large dog, especially with Doberman Pinscher breeds, is the ability to properly execute obedience training. Sure, they are in fact intelligent dog breeds. However, their dominant nature and size make them somewhat difficult to train. Going back to the idea that Dobermans were used by the police force, large and high quality Dobermans are serious adversaries because of their agility and specific manner of the attack. They spring on the opponent, bite, and then immediately jump back. Keeping this kind of breed requires extra attention. Those that fail to do so are probably the ones with the Dobermans that contribute to the fatalities. Dobermans fall into the category of dogs which are capable of displaying spontaneous aggression. So if you decide to have a Doberman Pinscher as a pet, you really need to train them well. You need to apply general training principles and act as a pack leader to them. Because if not, I'm pretty sure you won't call them sweet and lovable. At number 9, the Argentinian Doggo. The Argentinian Doggo is a large, white, muscular breed of dog that was developed in Argentina primarily for the purpose of big game hunting, including wild boar. These big pooches are big game hunters and are also trained for search and rescue, police assistance, competitive obedience, and military work. The Argentinian Doggo is an intelligent and courageous dog with a strong natural instinct to protect his home and family. They are very social dogs and the happiest when included in all family activities. Having said that, they make a strong distinction between familiar people and strangers, so it is imperative that they be well trained and socialized at an early age. However, considered by some as the most aggressive out of all the dangerous dog breeds, they will fight to the death if required. Unfortunately, they are banned in at least 10 countries including Australia, the UK, New Zealand, and Portugal. Presa Canario at number 8. Presa Canario, which is Spanish for Canary and Catch Dog, is also known as the Canary Massive. They were used as perfect big game hunters, in addition to helping their owners to stifle cattle. With rumors that, like the pit bull, this breed is also used in deadly dog fights. A couple of years ago, butchers were the only ones allowed to keep this breed, and they were kept on a chain. These dogs have a very strong character and need to be trained daily until the age of two years to help establish a bond with their family. They are herding dogs, and they never attack first. These dogs are non-aggressive and come into action only if provoked by their adversaries. They are suspicious of strangers, and there is a woman currently serving 15 years in jail due to her two Persia Canarios randomly attacking another lady in San Francisco. The poor woman was torn to death. These dogs are banned in Australia and New Zealand, so if you plan to adopt this breed to your loving family, make sure you train them well. 
At number 7, Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a Chinese dog breed most known for their blackish blue tongues and lion like mane. The dog breed is loyal, independent minded, and quiet. However, they're naturally protective and sometimes possessive as well. If this behavior is left unchecked, aggressive behavior in adulthood is a real possibility. They could also raise the cost of your household insurance as they are classed as high-risk dogs, and they are considered to more likely bite someone than other breeds. In fact, aggressive behavior is relatively common with Chow Chows. They tend to show natural aggression towards dogs of the same sex. Furthermore, smaller dogs and cats can draw out their innate hunting instinct. The best way to avoid any mishap with your chow is through early and consistent socialization as a puppy. Always bring people over and have your dog interact with them as often as possible. German Shepherd at number 6 As you all know, German Shepherds are the bread and butter of any reputable canine unit. If a dog isn't stopped on time or an offender continues to resist, a German Shepherd as a law enforcer will turn to a cruel killer. The fact that they stand tall at 25 inches and weigh in at 80 pounds of pure muscle, the attack can be brutal and in some cases fatal. Even if they don't intend to, they can accidentally hurt small children. The typical family-owned German Shepherd believes it has one job and purpose, to protect the family. With this kind of mentality, accidents can potentially happen. As long as your German Shepherd perceives someone or something as being dangerous to the pack, they will attack and defend. Plus, not many people can withstand a German Shepherd attack. Keep in mind that the German Shepherd is by far the most popular family-owned guard dog in the United States. In fact, besides a Labrador Retriever, they're the most popular dog breed in America. Period. With the brute force protective instincts and prevalence of the German Shepherd, are you really surprised they rank so high on the dangerous breed list? I don't think so either. I know we're halfway through our list with these big dogs, but stay tuned to find out which dangerous dog breed is responsible for 68% of dog attacks. The famous Akita Inu at number 5 Everyone is familiar with Hachiko the famous loyal dog from Japan that waited at a train station for 10 years for the arrival of its owner. Hachiko even has a statue at the same station where he died. The Akita is a large, powerful breed with strong protective instincts. If handled badly, Akitas can be dangerous. In native Japan, the Akita is considered a noble hunter and formidable guard dog. Originally bred for hunting, the breed is revered for his caution, steady nerves, and courage. Akita is intelligent and easily trained, and a male Akita can grow up to 28 inches high and weigh up to 120 pounds. This means that it takes a strong adult to be able to physically restrain an Akita. For this reason, the breed is unsuited for certain owners, purely because they would be unable to physically control the dog. Akitas are usually intolerant of other dogs and require strong handling. This breed is on the banned list of many insurance companies. At number 4, the Wolf Dog. A wolf dog is a canine produced by the mating of a domestic dog with a wolf to produce a hybrid. Many hybrids are part German Shepherd, Alaskan Malamute, or Siberian Husky, but Chow Chow, Akitas, and other breeds are often used. The wolf part of the heritage comes from a population of wolves that has been bred in captivity for many years. As it is illegal to capture a wolf from the wild, and the population of wolf hybrid dogs has increased significantly in recent years. These beasts have protective instincts and can be very wild due to their unpredictable behavior that probably resulted from breeding wild animals with common dogs. Many think that the wolf dog mixes are more prone to dog bites, dog attacks, and dog maulings than other types of more domesticated animals. In Greentown, Indiana, a seven-year-old Devin DeWitt was attacked by two wolf hybrids owned by his family. He needed surgery to repair the injuries on his chest, arms, and face. Number 3. Great Dane The Great Dane combines in its regal appearance, strength, and elegance with great size and a powerful, well-formed, smoothly muscled body. It is one of the giant's working breeds, but is unique in that its general conformation must be so well balanced that it never appears clumsy and shall move with a long reach and powerful drive. They can be gentle giants if properly trained, 
and cared for as they already belong among the very emotional and sensitive group of dogs. But if not trained and socialized from an early age, they can become quite dangerous and aggressive. Considering their massive body height and weight, they can bring about fatalities. Rottweiler at number 2 Rottweilers were originally dogs bred to drive cattle to market. Later, they were used to pull carts for butchers. They were among the earliest police dogs and served with honor in the military. Nowadays, they are popular family, guardians, and friends. A well-bred Rottweiler is calm and confident. He's typically aloof towards strangers, but never timid or fearful. Rottweilers exhibit a wait-and-see attitude when confronted with new people and situations. You must be able to provide your Rottweiler with leadership he can trust and respect without resorting to anger or physical force. Otherwise, he'll take the role of top dog for himself. With a dog as powerful and intelligent as a Rottweiler, this is a recipe for disaster. Aggressive behavior in Rottweilers tend to come from irresponsible ownership, neglect, and lack of training. They are considered to be one of the most dangerous breeds and the only chance to survive when attacked by a Rottweiler is to be passive. Pitbull at Number 1 A very popular breed of strong dogs and many times accountable for cases of attacking humans. This is a resulting breed when you combine the energy and agility of terriers and the body build and strength of a bulldog. American pit bulls are banned in many countries throughout the world. In many municipalities in the US, pit bulls make up only 6% of the dog population, but they're responsible for 68% of dog attacks and 52% of dog-related deaths since 1982. Pit bulls are not inherently dangerous. Like any other dog, they can become violent, aggressive, and mean through a lack of training, abuse, neglect, and irresponsible ownership and breeding, as well as a lack of attention to health and temperament issues. If you plan on getting one of these breeds, then please make sure you check out the dog's parent's temperament if possible. Remember, it's the owner that makes the dog, not the dog makes the owner. What breed of dogs are you most afraid of and were you able to overcome it? I'd love to hear your experiences in the comments down below. We'll make sure to reply to every single comment that is posted within the first hour. If you find this video shocking, I know you'll be interested in watching our video about the top 10 earthquakes. The worst earthquakes in recorded history in loss of human life. Peace.